Hey, Andre, how are you doing? All good, all good. How are you? Fine, recovering for, for some flu or whatever that was. Uh, my my voice is still low, but uh, yeah, working on uh, getting better. It's definitely the flu season. Yeah, I was like thinking, you know, um, last autumn I didn't get any flu. So I was like, well, maybe this year I so resistant i'm not getting anything but then it came so but yeah, yeah. not it's, too strong it's double or nothing yeah that's <laughs> true that's true but uh let's talk about countless goodbye because uh countless goodbye is back uh after your uh, first debut album in 2019 uh, yes you are finally giving us some new music. I, I loved your first album and I love your lives. Uh, I saw you a few times uh, in the past. Yeah. And uh, now you last released... Time, last time we saw at Bari Kappi, uh, yeah. if I remember. Yeah. yeah, and we did the interview. For, so for everybody that is watching this, uh, if you want to watch the, the old interview, you have just to scroll in mm -hmm. on YouTube. And you will find it at some point. You will find there are many, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, you released uh, last February, uh, on 29th of February. Uh, yeah, 20, 28 or 29, I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> One of those it's been days. so long. <laughs> <laughs> it was a room, the, the, the title of the song is Room Without Walls. Yes. So, what can you tell about this song? It's uh, it's definitely a, it's a powerful song. It has a meaning behind it, and let's say vocalist Onni can explain it a little bit better than I am. <laughs> but I can talk a lot of, of, of the music video because I we made it uh, ourselves. So so, but basically, it's like uh, you just need to uh, keep going forward, and, yeah. uh, basically. To put yeah. it like shortly. There is no shame to 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 go forward. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <clears throat> sometimes it's difficult to uh, leave behind something that has been in your life or your life for a long time. Yes, exactly. So this is this is uh, pretty much what I got from from this song. Uh, and, yeah, uh, it's uh, I think that many people can relate on it. Yeah, uh, definitely. I, I I'm really happy that you are back, and the song is uh, a banger. So I'm I'm <laughs> so happy to to hear you finally after a long time. I was waiting so much to hear from you because uh, was it 2022 when three of the uh, band's member left? Yeah, yeah, like two years ago. Yeah, exactly. Or like kind of yeah. Yeah, so. and then. Then it was like uh, I was left like with a question mark. What's going to happen now? Yeah, I I think like a lot of people were were thinking like what's happening, and to be honest, like uh, when we when the situation came up, we were thinking ourselves too. Like, uh, what should we do? Should we continue or call it a day? Because you know we've been do. Um, We've been together like over ten years with the uh, with with this group of friends and my brother, so it's not easy to, you know, it's 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 def definitely a, uh, it's like you don't know should you continue or not, but you know when you when you like uh, give yourself a day or two, then you are like, you know, you are starting to think like like I don't want to leave this behind, you know. Like we just want to continue. So me and me and the singer only we are we are here. <laughs> we are st still here. Yeah, and, uh, and we and we've been and we've been working this whole time. It's like maybe people didn't know are we like continuing or not, but uh, we definitely have been working a lot behind the curtains, <clears throat> as as you probably know because we just released a new music. <laughs> So, <laughs> and uh, in the video, there are uh, 
a guitar player and a bass player. Yes. Uh, are those like session musician? Yeah. Band? Yeah. So the, yes, exactly. So the guitarist is Eli. Eli is like on on his brother, and the bass bass player is Harry. So he's a solo solo artist. So they are like session musicians at the moment for us. So you you're gonna be seeing them a lot in our music videos in our and our live performances. Okay. So get to know them. <laughs> they, they are with us now. So officially, you are just two members in the band. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So me and Orni will will take care of everything by by ourselves. <clears throat> and you are you are living now in Tampere, and he's yeah. only still in Rauma. No, he he lives in Tampere also. Okay, okay. Which 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 makes everything a uh, lot easier, of course, because makes now sense. we live in the same live the same city. When when we were still with the with the boys, we were living living in uh, five different cities, so so it's not that easy to take care of business let's say yeah, so it's, it's, it's yeah so it's it's funny now that we, we live in the same city so we can we can work a lot together like weekly basis yeah that's nice i remember that um when i was studying physiotherapy in some uh at some point we had to teach to the nurses students um how to move the patients and mm -hmm. uh, Omni was there, <laughs> and then I oh, was yeah. thinking, I, 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 I was like thinking, is he? I just tried. Then I went to take the photos uh, from the from my hard disk and uh, checking. Was it Omni? <laughs> I was <laughs> unsure. I was really unsure that he was it, but it was he. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we we are just people like everybody else. <laughs> yeah. But I, you know, you never know what you, who you are gonna meet in certain situation, and then you can yeah. be surprised that, and then you think is that the same person that was there? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Finland is Finland is small, small country, anyways. Yeah, so. that's true. It's easy to, to, uh, to meet people. Um, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> And uh, now I'm going uh, outside of the music thing. I was uh, thinking about your surname, that is uh, <laughs> Rodriguez. Yeah, Rodriguez. And um, now there is a fun, fun story. Fun fact: my great grandmother was from Spain, and her surname was Rodriguez. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty common, common name in yeah. the in the world. Maybe not in Finland, but globally, it's really yeah, it's really yeah. normal name. <laughs> yeah, um, what is your father from another country or? Yeah, so South America. Yeah. Okay. So from Peruvian. where? Peru. Okay. Nice. So, so do you speak so Spanish that... also? <laughs> I don't speak Spanish at all. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we 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 just were in Barcelona, Spain. So I, it's it's so it's so funny that I kind of you know I can get some words here and there, but but uh, I still I don't speak at all. I don't really understand anything. But uh, you know, sometimes you when they don't speak English, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, so I might get one word or two, but yeah. that's that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Definitely shout out to <laughs> this Peruvian drink called Inca Cola. So <laughs> I went to Peruvian restaurant to get Inca Cola. It's like a drink soda. So <laughs> they they didn't spoke English at all, but Inca Cola is a really, you know, every, every Peruvian knows what's Inca Cola. So I make an order. I didn't speak Spanish. I didn't speak English. Only the hand signs. Signs. Inca cola. One. Uno. <laughs> and that's, that's perfect. It. Yeah. Yeah. With hands, you can you can communicate. As an Italian, you know, I moved my hands quite a lot. And yeah, yeah. In Italy, 
people don't speak uh, that much English, and when some mm -hmm. foreigner is there, they still try to <laughs> to communicate. So it's yeah. uh, it's it's fun. But yeah, that yeah. was a fun fact that came in my mind. Uh, now oh, yeah. it was random. <laughs> Let's get it's back cool. to countless goodbyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, about the music video, um, mm -hmm. you are uh, the the mind of the music video. You film, you edit, that you you did everything. So, yeah. tell us more about the behind the scene. <laughs> uh, it was definitely a long process. So when you handle everything, basically. It's a, it can be a lot. And we need to rem rem remember that we also self-finance this thing. So we are taking care of the, you know, like everything, like script, a location, um, talents, like a makeup artist and everything. Like, and if you saw the, well, we haven't shared any behind the scenes stuff yet, but if you saw that we have two rooms there, like, we we built that with the construction workers so it's it's not let's say it's it's not <laughs> we didn't make it in a one day let's put it like that way so we rent, rented this location for five weeks we actually shot two music videos during that time so <laughs> like uh just a hint what's coming next <laughs> so we 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 have two week two music videos in five weeks. So let's say it took like three or four weeks for us to make the room without walls music video. Long process, definitely, yeah. and we will share a lot of behind the scenes stuff soonish. Can't wait then. But yeah, I, yeah, but yeah, it was it was really fun, <laughs> and yeah, nothing. I can't say any negative about it. It was all positive, even though it was uh, Hard work. long as days, and especially in the in the filming day, we were still filming at two or three um, in the morning. So after midnight, we were still there with the makeup artist Nani and the actor uh, Tanita. So props to them because you it it's not their business, you know. Yeah. The, so I, I can be there. It's my, you know, it's my my stuff. So I can be there. I don't care like 18 or 20 hours, but props to them. They they were there still filming at 3 yeah. 3 a.m. <laughs> so so <laughs> long days. Long about, days for sure. About the script. Uh yeah was written by you was you or who ideas was to me, me and only we also we always like uh bounce the ideas of each other so because i'm the video maker but he's the one who created the lyrics and the story behind the song i also need to know <laughs> what like what are you thinking and what should we do and then we just bounce the ideas and the the music video that you can see, that's the result of the lot of ideas bouncing each other, basically. <laughs> okay. So it's, it's a really good work. Uh, and yeah, like thank you. All all your uh, uh, filming uh, works are super good. So thank you. I suggest everybody to check your your works. Yeah, Andrea Rodriguez films everybody <laughs> but yeah uh I, we are super proud super proud of the video as as you can see the the location it's like kind of post apocalyptic during the end end of the video and you just start from the empty room and then you just continue 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 and the actor is getting older the act, act, actor is getting wrinkle wrinkles and gray hair and a lot of stuff forest <laughs> the the walls are coming in like in indiana jones and stuff and stuff like that so it's crazy it's crazy yeah and uh when you are playing there is uh, those uh 
brushes uh, always in english those three things uh, going oh, on yeah. Yeah. and um, was it difficult to put those uh, there and uh, <laughs> you being in the middle without uh, getting anything in your eyes yeah yeah my my eyes are okay <laughs> but uh yeah it was fun we uh, a few of our friends owns a forest so we make a phone call that we need a lot of trees and stuff like that so i have a small van car so we just took all the like you say branches or what's the name woods like forest stuff i, I don't know how to say it in english either yeah oxat <laughs> so <laughs> a lot of a lot of a lot of trees in the car and, and and yeah we built a forest <laughs> yeah and it looks nice <laughs> yeah thank you but but that's the that's the funny thing like because we didn't film actually we we filmed like two years ago i believe that music video okay. yeah maybe or was it one year ago maybe one actually maybe one year ago sorry so during the same time, like February, March. So, you know, if you live in Finland, you know, the it's if you look at the at the nature, it's not so bright and colorful. It's super, you know, it's it's really gray in the outside. So the all the trees and everything looks looks really good. They are not too happy, like lot, not a lot of not like yellow, yellow trees or green. You know. But yeah, I'm stuck in the trees now, so <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we should continue <laughs> from the trees now. <laughs> but uh, talking about uh, the next song coming, because you 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 told that uh, there is another video. Yeah. So I I suppose that there is a second single coming at some point. Some point, some point. Uh, do you know when this when this um. Uh... Episode is coming out. Uh, next week. Okay, then I won't say. Then I won't say uh, more about the upcoming single. It's it's coming soon, but uh, it's not the video that I was like uh, giving a hint. It's coming later. Okay. But the, but the upcoming upcoming uh, single and music video. Uh, yeah, like I said, I I won't say too much now. But we can talk. We can make an episode too, maybe. <laughs> so, so yeah. I can we talk. We can agree to do something. Uh, maybe not <laughs> metal pizza, but just something different. Uh, just yeah. talking about the new single. That could yeah. be a good uh, idea. Yeah, that that was. Uh, but uh, yeah, the upcoming single. Like I said, I, I won't say the name or when it's coming, but it's coming soon, really soon. So before that was the best. summer or after the summer uh, or before before. before. Before, of course. Okay. Like, like, as you know, we are back. So you can expect a lot of new music this year. Nice. Not, not like five year hiatus anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, are you just releasing uh, uh, singles or are you going to release a whole album? We have album coming, but I can't say anything else at this this moment. Okay. Okay. But yeah, it's coming. So we will wait. Yeah. Everybody makes make sure to follow follow countless goodbyes on social media so you don't you don't miss a thing when the when the time is coming. Yeah. But uh, when it comes to live shows, yeah, you have something coming. Uh, Let's say we will announce the live shows later, but it's definitely coming. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I can say the dates at the moment. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of, lot of things happening behind the scenes. So you can expect countless goodbyes to, to have live shows. Yes. Okay. Are you but going not, to have a live not, show? Not next week. <laughs> yeah, of course. But um, <laughs> are you going to have a live show? For the moment that you are booking just in Finland or also outside? Yeah, we are, we are definitely going outside also. Nice. So bo both. So probably you are going to being supporting a band 
uh, uh, in a bigger tour. I I I I have this feeling now. So <laughs> we have yeah. to wait. But yeah, we have, we we have to wait. Love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, something something important for me. How are you going to play in Pori? Of course, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> And actually, after the after the interview, we can we can uh, we can talk more. Okay. Because okay. as you know, as you know, we um, I haven't lived in Pori almost ten okay. years now, and I just actually <laughs> it's I was just reaching out a uh, few friends in Pori, like you know what is the venue at the moment and stuff like that. But like I said, we can we can talk later. Yeah. Because and I that, know I, I know. I know there's not so many many venue, venues anymore. Yeah, you like you know that. that that many just uh, closed the doors and uh, it was yeah. a sad time. Two thousand eighteen, uh, two thousand nineteen. Uh, it start two thousand twenty, two thousand eighteen, two thousand twenty. Many many club clubs, rock clubs around Finland start to close doors, and it was. Uh, shocking for me because you know you move to Finland because uh, metal is uh, something big and you are into metal and then uh, when you move uh, in a few years everything start to shut down and uh, there was more uh, I will say that at that time when I move uh, rap music Finnish rap start to be bigger <laughs> Yeah. And uh, I, I was a bit upset because I moved to Finland and things changed. But now it it seems that things are again changing on the on the metal side. Yeah. And yeah, we, we need to re remember that we also had a global pandemic. <laughs> so so yeah. everything that... is everything is like getting open again and you know the step by step. Yeah, step by step. Uh, but uh, let's uh, get to your film uh, making, uh, photographing, and uh, editing uh, job, because yeah. it's your full it's your full time job. If am I right? Yes. Yeah. And um, let's get step by step about uh, everything. So, yeah. uh, first of all, I want to know from these three things. So. Um, um, filming, photographing, mm -hmm. and editing. Which yep. one is your favorite? <laughs> well, maybe editing, because of course it's a double-sided coin. Because <laughs> sometimes it can be a lot, because you spend hours and hours and nights even you know just looking at the screen but but editing is the place where the where you just uh, make everything together you know so the yeah so you you can create the full story yeah like yeah. you can do it like so dif different so many different ways and you can do whatever basically so maybe editing if i if i could choose yeah and did, you, did you study to become a filmmaker, photographer, editor? From the editing, actually. Okay. So I was uh, editing a lot of uh, countless goodbyes stuff, a lot of behind the scenes, a lot of uh, like those live live show music videos. So I was editing them and let's say fe fell in love with the with the business. <laughs> so yeah. I. I started through editing. Okay. So now we are here. <laughs> yeah. And you are Many doing great jobs. Uh, um, if we go to music videos, you work <clears throat> with bands such as uh, Arion, Blind Sun, Blind Channel, One Morning Left, to name few. Um, yeah. There is any of those uh, music videos that you are more happy about the final result? Uh, I believe I believe um, every every video that you know I make or whoever makes I I I feel like everybody let's say all of those are your your you know you are I'm proud of them all so I can just pick one or two or you three. cannot choose a favorite child yes exactly so <laughs> so 
there's of course there's a there's a story behind every video but uh, yeah i can just choose choose one or two so and yeah. when it comes to um shooting a music video from a, for a band um <clears throat> Who is the one that uh, write the script? Is more about uh, you giving uh, uh, an idea to the band, or the band giving an idea to you? How it, you, how you, does it work? Uh, of course, it's it depends of the band. So sometimes they sometimes bands have really they know what they want. So then then I just give my output and say. So should we do it like this or should we change this or keep this but sometimes bands re reach reach to me and they don't know what they want so then it's then it's up to me what <laughs> what should we do but usually i may i want to make a meeting with the band you know face to face or <laughs> nowadays through the screen so i, I want to make the meeting meeting or two or three even and we just brainstorm the ideas and as we spoke earlier like i want to know what the song is about yeah so we just don't make any nonsense we we need to know what's the what's the story behind the song and let's continue from there yeah yeah and uh, you also have been working with uh, festivals yep and then Sorry, Helvetti, Mary Helvetti to name a few uh, yeah. also uh, emergenza uh, festival this this uh, competition band competition they have finals every august in germany so yeah. that's that takes place in the Torbetal festival in germany so also there yeah yeah that's nice and of, of course i've been a lot of with the bands in in yeah. all kinds of kinds of festivals but yeah and that because you also um film and edited the uh, dead by april uh, film yeah. documentary yeah I, I was work with a band such as uh, dead by april <laughs> <laughs> it's it's awesome first of all uh for me it's it's kind of funny also because during my teenage years like like for probably many 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 of us it's like uh dead by april is a huge band first of all and a lot of us know them uh, or listen listen at them during their teenage years so so for me it's it's uh, it's really a humbling experience also <laughs> through that but um it's fun they they basically let me do whatever i want so that's really nice <laughs> so they they trust me a lot with the with the videos and photos. That's that's amazing. So, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. But yeah, you <laughs> it's like you just need to you just need to work a lot and be a be a nice guy. That that uh, gets you a long way, you know. So I I met the guys maybe two thousand I don't remember two thousand eighteen two thousand nineteen. They were playing with Blind Channel. Uh, I think it was two two shows in Finland, and you know, you just prove you are good, <laughs> you know. And maybe two years later they call you that they want yeah. me, you know. <laughs> yeah. So so that's that's funny. Yeah, that's that's great. Like living your dream. Yeah. Or or was it kind of your dream? Yeah, point. yeah, it's it's like uh, of course <laughs> I didn't born like I want to be a filmmaker, <laughs> but uh, but uh, but uh, let's say six or seven years ago I really started to focus to making this uh, my full time job, so I don't need to drive a car anymore for a living. <laughs> yeah. So you were at what what you did? Before? Yeah. I I was like uh, doing logistics, so I was driving a truck or van or even taxi at some point. So I was driving a car for living uh, ten years. Okay. And now, now I've been doing this for a full time uh, three years. Yeah, yeah. So congratulations for your achievement. Thank you. Thank you.
it's Stay always here. Yeah, it's always important to follow your dreams and to, to work towards your dreams. Um, it's not always easy and sometimes it takes a lot of time, a lot of years. But uh, yeah. if you have this burning desire, at some point the, the, the opportunity comes and uh, your life can change. Yeah. So, that's something beautiful, beautiful about life. And we, we are the, the one in, uh, in charge of our future. Yeah. But um, let's get back to your videos. Um, so you also edited the, the Blind Channel Eurovision uh, docu series. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, was it fun to editing those, those videos? <laughs> it, was, uh, it was definitely a long night. <laughs> <laughs> So when they were in the Eurovision, so let's say, um, for example, they are living their life in, uh, I, I think they were in Rotterdam, Yeah. the Eurovision when they were there. So let's say during the Monday, they are doing whatever rehearse, rehearsals and stuff like that. And next day, the video needs to be edited, you know, and it it's like Yle, Yle was the you know, the Finnish, um, I don't know how to it. TV and the radio. Yeah. So, you know, you can just say to them that I can't do it. It's like, it, it will to. be, yeah, it will be edited for the morning. So <laughs> you just, you know, basically edit the whole night and they will get the video the next morning and that's how we rolled every day <laughs> during that during that week. Yeah. Uh, and when the when the when the finals were happening, I was like, I watched, I believe I watched their show in TV. Then I went to bed for like three hours and had my alarm. And I need to woke up to download the files and start to <laughs> edit in the next next morning. <laughs> so yeah, really, really fun. Yeah, a lot of work, but uh, yeah. yeah, a yeah. different, dif different uh, kind of work because I think that the the Eurovision thing is something that doesn't happen uh, every every day. So. Yeah, not every day, not every week, not every month. So <laughs> yeah, I was I was prepared that I need to stay awake this this one week of the year. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So. You just, I just, you know, you just focus on that and you don't do any other jobs during that time. So, yeah, yeah really fun, fun experience. So, uh, you were also on IPA IPA tour. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You, you were with one morning left doing the filming. Uh, yeah. How, how was being on tour with... Uh, Electric Callboy, Blind Channel, and One Morning Left. Uh, let's say it <laughs> for in one word, it was awesome. I think there were three words, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was awesome. Uh, touring with your friends is always uh, it's really nice. You know, you are you are working, but kind of hanging out with your friends. You know. So that's that's always super nice to tour with your friends. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really, 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 really fun, funny experience. I don't know. Did you saw this from another interview or podcast uh, that I supposed to be there two days? I supposed to be hey. there two days in Antwerpen. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Remember which country is Antwerpen? So you can just Google Antwerp. Not in Antwerp. the Netherlands. Maybe I don't. I don't know. <laughs> so. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm saying something wrong. So maybe maybe it's better that I'm silent. But yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, yeah. I I supposed to be only two days, and first day, the boys already asked me like, "Could you could you be a little bit longer?" I said, "Of course, like I can be. I have my passport." And, you know, I didn't have enough clothes, definitely, for two weeks because I was prepared for two days. <laughs> so that was fun. But yeah, after the two days, we went to, you know, we went to London and all the all the other countries after that. So 
really really fun really fun experience to so you know about the clothes how how did you manage did, did, did you buy new stuff or were you all the time cleaning up the the clothes definitely <laughs> i have a fun fun story for that but uh, definitely needed to look for all the gas stations and you know wake wake up early and go to some fucking mcdonald's to eat breakfast and you know shopping mall to have some clothes but during the first first uh, when you know when when you know that okay this is not two days this is two weeks like i re remember <laughs> i remember that i went to this local local supermarket that you know we have also here in finland like those big supermarkets so i went there i was like oh i need some new underwear it's like it's 50 euros like what the hell like but you know i just need new clothes like socks and t-shirt and everything and i was there like 50 euros for underwear that's that's too much but you you need to you need to buy new clothes you know where they so, made gold no but here's the funny thing like i went to tour bus and i needed to change the <laughs> try them out you know and i was like what the fuck is happening like it's so hard to put this on and and after after for a, like 30 seconds i realized that there's huge padding like from from the to the knees and i was like these are like fucking bicycle shorts <laughs> <laughs> So the, the, here was the reason why they were 50 euros. So I, I just bought the bicycle shorts. <laughs> but, you know, you need to do what you need to do. You, yeah. you need Did to you do use them? them? I, I believe I used them, yeah. And yeah. yeah. Do you still have them? No. <laughs> <laughs> also, I, I bought a towel, you know, for the shower. And... Also, I needed to buy another one for the sound engineer, Juha Nevala. So the G said to me, like, Andre, you just bought the shittiest towel from Europe. You, you know, when you just buy a new towel, they doesn't really dry that well. Yeah. It was funny. It was funny. Like I said, touring with friends, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of good times. Yeah. It's, not so, it's not so serious. It's, it's, it's really fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but now let's talk about metal in general. Yeah. What do you mean with metal in general? I want to know when did you start to listen to metal music? Well, I believe it was okay. So the first, like those uh, earlier days bands for me was definitely uh, like Linkin Park, Green Day. Uh, what else? Linkin Park, Green Day. Well, you know, bands like that. So I wasn't really that into uh, like heavier music. Because Were you a like, emo guy? Huh? Were you emo? Well, well you know, we ha all have faces, you know. But let's say, let's say I wasn't into like metal because I, I was al always thinking like metal is this, you know, black metal, like corpse paint and too much noise and too fast and then Linkin Park came, came, and you know Chester is screaming a lot, and I was like, "This is this is great." But fast forward, uh, remember when we had this? Uh, ah, yeah, you probably didn't live in Finland back then, but we have this TV channel called The Voice. So you know, MTV is the music television, and in Finland we had The Voice. TV channel and there was this band playing a bullet from a Valentine. So that that was uh, that changed everything for me. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so, so that that was my go-to band uh, for the for the metal music. After that, all the trivium came along, and you know, when you are when you are, you know, children or teenagers, or you are you are looking at this band promo pictures like Bullet from a Valentine wearing a Trivium t-shirt and then you are like, oh, who is this Trivium? And, you know, then it's a rabbit hole after that when you just yeah. start to listen to one band. And yeah, that was it. Bullet from Valentine, that, that was it for me. 
Yeah. And what are you, are you listening nowadays? <laughs> A lot of ACDC. <laughs> <laughs> well it's like um everybody is always asking me like what what are you listening and the 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 truth is like when you edit let's say 12 hours a day and you listen one second and then you go back listen one second then you go back listen one second you you can you can probably understand that it's really it's Tiring. really uh, tiring to listen music if you listen music like that the whole day so i don't really even want to listen music you listen like to that. the silence yeah i listen to silence now a lot of podcasts and stuff like that but uh, it happened to me during the when i was still driving a car you know it was like i was like enjoying more of the radio station uh when they speak you know radio rock has a yeah. uh, funny humor and when they speak to each other the commercial breaks and stuff like that so i was more at some point of course I, i'm a huge fan of music but you know when you listen that the whole day it's like i started to enjoy the commercial breaks and then <laughs> <laughs> then i switched to do you know this radio station uh Yle Puhe. yes <laughs> so it's there's no music it's only They're only speaking, and I, <laughs> I, I I sound really old now. But <laughs> I I started to listen to that, and then I fell in love with the podcast, and podcast became a really uh, big thing. Yeah, it became a thing. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, let's say let's say some some months I listen Dua Lipa, some months I listen ACDC. Now it's definitely yeah. ACDC season for me. Yeah. <laughs> But talking about podcast, because now yeah. I'm curious, what what kind of podcast do you listen to? Uh, it de- like like whatever basically. Okay. Like it can it can be like Joe Rogan, or it can be talking about investing your money, or music podcast, a drummer podcast, like whatever. Basically, everything everything is good. <laughs> Yeah, everything everything goes really. Yeah, nice. Do you have a favorite one at this like that lately you have been listening more? No, not really, not really. Okay. I have a huge library. I I've saved all the, you know, pod, I have you know. You know, it it updates every day. So I I just open up my phone and I see And you click on one. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> maybe or maybe not. Or maybe not, yeah. So yeah. it's it's not like it's not like uh, I need to listen something. It's like, you know, sometimes the you are like, comes. yeah. Sometimes you are like watching YouTube and you have your morning walk or whatever, or <clears throat> you are watching TV at night and you didn't finish the episode and you need to finish the episode to you know the next day. So yeah, I can just you know stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. I think that uh, I. You know, to kind of relax, I like to watch random video on Facebook or YouTube things that have nothing to do mm. with, uh, for example, music or just random. Really, something yeah. that maybe I don't know about, uh, like <clears throat> clear, and it's like okay, interesting or really stupid things also. But yeah, sometimes you need to just have a break. Yeah, exactly. That's something important for people. But let's get back to metal music. Yeah. Um, do you remember what, which one was the first uh, album that you bought? Well, not really, because because uh, my father is a huge uh, music listener. So basically, <clears throat> we had when when I was still you know young and living living at home um, you know we also had we always had a huge pile of cds so i can't remember did i bought this metallica album or did i bought this 30 seconds to mars album but probably yeah it can be whatever linky park yeah. or but but i definitely remember You know, when I was a huge Bullet from a Valentine fan, uh, it, it it was like, uh, 
when the when the album is out, I went to a record store and the album is not there because it was just released, you know, back in the days. It they wasn't maybe in the catalog yet. So yeah. It's and you were sad well, because there was a, the, the album was not there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So some of those bands maybe. Yeah. I have <laughs> a, a random fact about me. I'm going to uh, I remember it was uh, 1999 and uh, I was all the time watching uh, this uh, music uh, channel on TV and uh, I remember that I saw Muse for the first time. Okay. And it was uh, the, the music video of Mus Muscle Museum and I fell in love and I was like, uh, I need to buy their album. Then mm -hmm. I remember when I went to the this uh, store this record store and they had the Muse album so my teenage uh, not clever mind was like there was just one album and I was afraid I had no money that I was like uh, at the end of the month I'm going to my grandma and she are going she's going to give my give money so then I can come here and buy so I have still few weeks before so I was like in my mind taking the album from the um section to mm. another section so no one is going to buy it <laughs> like uh, putting in a certain spot and then every time yeah. i went back it was not there of course it was not there because they were just <laughs> putting away but my teenage mind was like yeah this is a good plan no it was not a good plan and it was maybe get the the worker very pissed about it but yeah. Yeah, that, that that was something but yeah, at but the end i was able to buy it at some point yeah but i i feel i feel like those were the days you know you know uh, when you spent spent time in the record shops or let's say antila do you remember that yeah yeah of course yeah that was like you can just play video games uh, or listen cds even yeah there was the top 10 yes exactly so i i'm pretty sure i once did that also it i i <laughs> sound sound sounds familiar <laughs> yeah but it's uh, it's something that uh, well nowadays uh, uh, teenagers are not doing it they, they have the music on spotify and yeah it's it's yeah. A, it's a different world, but yeah, back yeah, back we, in the days it was like like that. Yeah, and we we are not even that old, but still still we didn't have Spotify or YouTube or anything. Like you went to website and this media player music video opens up on your computer, <laughs> so it's it's different days. No. It, it was good, the media player. Uh, I remember when I was putting the a CD in the computer and then I was choosing a what effect I want to have. Yeah, in the... yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like watching that like, oh, like something yeah. amazing. At... Yeah. <laughs> uh, huge, huge visuals for sure. <laughs> yeah, great memories. Yeah. We came so far with all the technology, and uh, nowadays uh, you have difficult to to recognize: is this uh, artificial intelligence or is this uh, a person mm. that took this picture or took this video? Sometimes yeah. it's tricky. Yeah. But yeah, um, do you remember what what was your first uh, gig, the, the one that you attend as first? <clears throat> um... <clears throat> When we were kids, uh, our parents took us to the all the Ruiz Rock Festival and places like that. Uh, I don't remember what was the first like show, like you know, like show show. Uh, so a lot of festivals in the kid, but uh, when when we were kids, but uh, when Bullet from Valentine wanted to, you know, they they supposed to came to Finland and. We were like, I, I want to buy tickets to Bullet from Valentine. Of course, I didn't buy anything, but you know. <laughs> so I want to see Bullet from Valentine in Ice Hall, and they are supporting act for uh, Guns N' Roses. So I told my parents that I want to go there, and they were like, oh, Guns N' Roses, you know, because, you know. <laughs> yeah. Because. So I didn't, I haven't heard Guns N' Roses, you know, 
back then, maybe. So the Bullet from Valentine show got canceled, but you know, you have expensive tickets. So you need to go there. So <laughs> I need to now I need to listen Guns N' Roses and you know see what, what they are about. And we went to show and you know, Axel Rose had a leather jacket on that a lot of lot of pyro works and stuff like that. So that's probably one of those those like first shows maybe. Yeah. maybe like in this caliber that you know but yeah it can be whatever but those were like first like metal show i would say okay but but yeah guns and roses is maybe not that metal for me. yeah yeah um now i want to know about more uh, when did you start to play drums uh, I knew how to play, you know, this uh, peruskompi, uh, this basic basic uh, drum, like comp. I don't know how to say yeah. it in English, but uh, the first thing that you you need to learn when you start to play drums. So I knew how to play that when I was six years old because my father is a drummer. Okay. So, yeah. Basically, when I was six years old, but of course, the real drumming happens, I don't know, maybe after when I was 10 or something like that. Okay. So when, when you start to listen, you know, we had a good uh, music teacher in school. So, so they, they will let you do whatever you want. So we were there with the, uh, how you say, Valitunti uh this break hour yeah may, yeah so during the, the middle hour yeah during the lectures you have this 15 minutes or 30 minutes you know go yeah. outside and be kids <laughs> so we were playing a lot of metallica there and you know stuff like that so then then the then the how you say uh improvement started to happen when you were just you know, playing playing with with uh, like minded people <clears throat> in school. Yeah. So yeah. So it was by yourself, pretty much that you. That yeah, you... yeah, yeah. Pretty much. We when we were at, uh, younger, we we were in drum drum school. You know, having a drum lessons, but you know, in a few years, <laughs> we realized that we are not doing the homeworks what we should. So yeah. it was more fun, more fun to me to play Metallica or Bullet from a Valentine and not to, you know, not to play all the rudiments and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, but yeah, uh, I, I'm nothing, I don't take nothing away from them. They, they are actually those, those are the lessons that I want to improve nowadays, you know. Okay. So basically, if you skip that, when you are a kid, you need to come, maybe you need to focus on that when you are older, because yeah. those are the basics anyways. And you yeah. can, you know, when you, when you are, when you are young, you just care about loud noises. Yeah. You, you, and the fun you, and what you like. Yeah. And sometimes the, the more theoretical, the, the basic stuff is boring for you. Yeah. So yeah. As a kid. Yeah. But when, when you are older, so it everything makes sense now. Yeah, <laughs> you can yeah. you can use those lessons in your playing, but you didn't know that when you were, you know, under fifteen years old. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's something normal. I think that the many can relate, uh, even if not for drums, but for other things. Yeah. But now you know what time is it? It's time for my jar with uh, a random okay. topics. And yeah. let's see what we are going to get. I think this one feels makeup. <laughs> makeup. Uh, you got makeup. So um, okay. we can see you are wearing a full uh, face of makeup. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, <laughs> you, you were talking about makeup for the for the video. So for the making of the video that there was a makeup artist there. Um was the makeup just for the actress or also for you? 
I believe in that music video, it was only for the actress. And in, in, you know, in some other music videos, well, let's say I haven't, makeup hasn't touched my face yet. Let's put it like that. But, but, but the singer, you know, the singer needs to be pretty and the, you need some, you know, the eyes needs to pop a little bit yeah. more. So sing, singers definitely, but, but I, I haven't done it yet, but it will, the day will come, of course. Actually, when, when I was, uh, <clears throat> over 10 years ago, I was a touring drummer for this band that doesn't exist anymore, uh, Snow White's Poison Bite. Okay. They, they, were, they were this uh, emo rock metal band. So they were having a school makeup also. And I remember when, when I was washing the school makeup, there was uh, still leftovers on my, oh, what is this? Eyelid. What is this? Yeah, eyelid. And I was like, damn, that that like really, your eyes just, you know, looks better on camera. And so maybe that was my first, yeah. first experience. You know, the power of makeup, uh, always I say, because, uh, you know, I'm into photography. I'm, I'm not good as you. I'm not into <clears throat> videos. I don't know how to do videos. So sometimes I try to do some video, but I, it's not, it's not my thing. But photography is, mm -hmm. and sometimes I like to to do some portraits to try to do. And yeah. many people uh, told me that they are they they when I asked would you like to be my model, they are like I don't know, I'm not that good looking. And I was everybody is uh, can be photogenic with yeah. the right light, the right makeup, the right clothes, the lights, the 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 right situations. So. Mm -hmm. The ma the power of makeup is a quite a, it's a big thing. Mm -hmm. So yep. it it it's part of the of this uh, photographing uh, or filming because uh, you you also film other things uh, beside music. Oh yeah, and uh, you know because uh, let's say because I don't use makeup, <laughs> so I, I've learned a lot. Through through uh, Nani Nani Auvinen, Maski Nani, the makeup artist that I, I wanna <laughs> I wanna have on my sets. <laughs> so so I've learned a lot uh, also. And my friend uh, shout out to Frida. I also learned a lot from you know if if your face is uh, red, what what you need to do for the yeah, red yeah. and stuff like that. So of course so. Yeah, I've I've learned a lot about that too. Even though I don't do it, or yeah, you know, yeah, but it's important <laughs> for for the work that you do to know some 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 trick. Let's yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah, but let's pick another one. Maybe something that you can uh, relate more <laughs> than me. <laughs> um, we got horoscope. Okay. Are you into horoscope, or do you know? No, you are zero. Not at all. I know <laughs> what my, how you say, the sign. The yeah. yeah. So what's I know your sign? Virgin. Okay. But I don't, <laughs> I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know yeah, nothing about are, that. <laughs> let's, let's pick another one because now we were like out of your, uh, out of your league. So, yeah. oh, well, this is best moments. So if if you look at to your your life and mm -hmm. uh, everybody else in a, in a, in a, it's life this uh, those moments that are really important that you keep close to your heart uh, so what are uh, some of uh, the best moments in your life that you can recall well let's let's say uh i can't you know, this is a question that just came up, so I don't, I didn't have time to think or anything. But let's say when you spend time with your family and friends and stuff like that. Yeah, enjoy enjoying the little uh, the little moments. Yeah, yeah. The close one. Yeah. Yeah, and all the good good memories and you know, like everything, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
I can't pick and Every choose. moment can be a best moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, let's talk now about the most important thing. That is All right. pizza. <laughs> yeah. Do you like pizza? <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Nice. But let's say I'm... <laughs> I, I know where probably where this is going if if pizza community <laughs> watches this, but let's say I'm I'm really selective because I let's say I don't uh, my how you say I don't have allergies but I don't like vegetables or stuff like that. Okay, so, so, so you are picky. Yeah, yes. So I'm I'm really picky, and my pickiness. Uh, come uh, goes for I all, always choose a one pizza. So uh, can which you one? Guess? Is... Uh, can you guess? It's uh, a king ananas. Exactly. <laughs> so that's my <laughs> that's my go to. So for uh, those that don't speak Finnish, king is ham. So it's the typical uh, Hawaiian pizza, or at least uh, in Italy we call Hawaii pizza or Hawaiian, mm -hmm. Hawaiiana. Uh, I don't know why, but yeah. And um, but in uh, in Finland is a uh, kinku ananas, so with a uh, pineapple. So you exactly. are team pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah. when when you are outside of the Finland. So if you are in Europe, they don't have pineapple in the pizza. I don't know. Can you have it? Maybe you can, but yeah, then it's ham and cheese. Okay. You yeah, know. It makes sense. <laughs> it makes yeah. sense. But yeah. you know, I don't I don't remember, was it in Pori or in some other city in, in this uh, you know, better pizza places? Pretty random, but if I remember rem remember the I had a pizza with you know, cheese and ham, of course. But I believe there was like, like uh, apple or apple and honey or something like that. Something weird. You know, th there is this thing that uh, someone told me that in Italy there are those pizza, but they are without tomatoes, and it's mm. uh, it can be honey and it can be pear. I don't know if it was hateful, but someone was telling about those. And uh, I I personally don't like to have uh, fruits, uh, like sweet fruits with uh, with other, with other on the pizza or with other uh, salty things. Yeah. But yeah, I know that a, a lot of people like to experiment and have those different uh, tastes in, in their mouth. So, <laughs> so yeah. it's, it's quite interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wanted to share this <laughs> share this experience that I really like that also, but yeah. I don't know where you can get it. I don't remember where I got that, but yeah, that so, I, I, I so feel you like, like these those mix of salty and sweet together. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and now when we are talking about this, I believe after this after this uh, <laughs> chat with you, I I believe I need to go to pick something up. <laughs> you are getting angry to to you need you need food. <laughs> yeah. So I, I I feel I need to need to order some pizza today. <laughs> yeah. Now it's pizza day. <laughs> yeah. But now it's time for the question that the, the previous guest uh, left you. Okay. So the question is: Would you rather never listen to your favorite music again, or never eat your favorite food again? <laughs> Let's let's put it like this way. Uh, if I don't eat, uh, I will die. <laughs> so 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 I need to eat. So you choose your favorite to to keep your favorite food uh, over your favorite meal. Oh, 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 so it was was it like favorite food? Favorite, or... yeah. Ah, uh, then then I don't you know I don't care. I, you know, I want to listen music. <laughs> so okay, so you give up on the on the favorite food. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Okay. I I I understood that if you don't eat ever again. Okay. But... <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, but now it's your turn to to leave a question for the next guest. All right. So because you gave me a one second hint, so I was like. 
uh, what should I ask? Like, because I don't know who's the, you know, the next one. So I was like, because I'm not a, a winter person at all. And we live in Finland. So what the hell? <laughs> so let's, let's ask, uh, uh, you know, summer or winter. Like, okay. yeah, so, okay. it's a good so if you want to know, to you, know you, what people are going to say, so you are yeah. a summer person. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm a winter person, but All right. since I have been 10 years in Finland, I have started to appreciate also summer. Yeah. Now, now I'm like, summer it can be good. Yeah, yeah. In Italy, it was like summer. It was like uh, not not my thing. In particular, <laughs> yeah. when you are working uh, and uh, yeah, yeah. when you have just one uh, free day, and you are thinking maybe now I'm going to the beach, and it's uh, raining that day, so it's like I'm hating summer. <laughs> and have having a, a two shifts in a day. Uh, do you have siesta in Italy? Uh, we don't. Uh, the, the word siesta is not uh, something that is in Italy. Uh, we uh, have a pausa, so the break. Uh, okay. But nowadays, uh, most of the, the places are uh, all day open. But uh, I had at some point, uh, I was working <laughs> from nine to one. Then we had the break and we were back at uh, 3.30 to 7.30, if yeah. I well. And we, with my workmate, we went to to walk uh, during, during the winter or autumn or spring we went to walk in the forest because we had not that, that, that big uh, distance to the forest or going uh, to walk on this uh, this beautiful um, trail, trail uh, along the coast so watching the sea or visit some castle and then uh, during the summer we went to the beach uh, for you know one hour and then get back to work uh, so yeah back to, the back to work yeah yeah. Not not sleeping at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, um, but but it's so funny that in in Finland we are so used uh, used to, uh, that everything's always open, and when you go to Europe or I don't remember do they have it on United States or South America, but especially in Europe, it's like uh, on Sundays, you know, <laughs> when you are on tour. When you are on tour and everything is closed, like it's like, what the hell? Where should I eat? And you know, stuff like that. Or, you know, if you are like just having a holiday somewhere and you want to eat now, and what the hell? Like everything is closed from through uh, three to six or something like that. So it's like we are so used to that everything is always open in Finland. So, yeah. So, yeah. That's but, true. Yeah. I I don't I don't remember why why I ask do you have siesta in Italy but <laughs> so I don't remember what we were talking oh we were talking about summer and the winter and uh, oh, yeah. having the free day on Sunday yeah <laughs> that it came from but yeah uh, we are now at the end of this episode of Metal Pizza so would you like to say something to people that are watching or listening this this episode well uh, if you are a if you like my band, countless goodbyes. Uh, thank you a lot for you know supporting us throughout all the years and listening and sharing and you know giving us uh, all the positive feedback and whatever uh, and so on. I mean, <laughs> and and if if you are a fan of my my video or photo work, uh, I thank you a lot because you know there's a lot of. Uh, a lot of nights that I have, uh, <laughs> that I'm still editing. So it's it's nice that somebody likes it, you know. <laughs> and and all the customers are the reason why why I can you know uh, keep making doing this. So thank you a lot for that. Uh -huh. And if if you wanna work with me, just just send me an email or DM. I'm one one message away. Let's work. Let's work together. Yeah great yeah i think that's about it yeah thank you so much thank you